Gauteng, KwaZulu Natal, I think fair to say mm. those are the two epicenters, Michael, of this growing problem that we're starting to experience, often with tragic consequences. Yeah, that's right, Jeremy. And police are saying that it's too early to identify the roots of this violence. So we're not trying to connect any dots. We're really just trying to give you some context on uh, some of these uh, problem provinces. Now, this latest incident on Saturday, Jeremy, happening on the R74 between Colenso and Wienan, just eight months earlier, Jeremy, and just up the road, in fact, in a town by the name of Ladysmith, we saw another tragedy unfolding. Hitman attacking a vehicle. In that vehicle was the deputy chairperson of one of the local taxi associations. Eleven people killed in that incident, Jeremy. Not clear who the perpetrators were, uh, but we do know that the Clip River and Seasway associations were embroiled in a court battle over certain routes and the permits for those routes. The MEC for Transport did step in, Jeremy, and he revoked the licenses for both associations. That was back in December. By February, he had reinstated those licenses. So both associations are back in business. Let's focus very quickly, Jeremy, on uh, Gauteng. And we have seen a spate of incidents, not only those linked to the route between Johannesburg and Durban. This one in July 2016, two people killed in Midrand. Reports suggesting that was linked to the Mall of Africa route, that shopping center, of course, opening up at the time. A year later, Jeremy, five people killed in taxi-related violence in Soweto. And then, of course, this latest incident, a group of Gauteng drivers, Ivory Park and Kempton Park, killed on their way back from KwaZulu-Natal. Why is this important to South Africa, Jeremy? Well, the taxi industry is crucial to our economy. I want to look quickly at the General Household Survey 2016. Almost 40% of households in South Africa rely on taxis uh, when it comes to going to and fro, using them for commuting purposes. The number slightly higher in Gauteng as it is an urban area, 44% of households relying on taxis. And finally, Jeremy, just in terms of uh, overall numbers, difficult to pin that down, but we do have a figure from the Reuters news agency, over 15 million commuters relying on taxis on a daily basis. So very important that this sector remains as stable as possible.